Hey guys, it's Chris again. Um, I have a quick video for you here because I have a really handy dandy cool contraption that I purchased. Um, I was talking about my diet and how things were going with it and um, I... I know I've dropped a pant size. I got on my scale today, not my doctor scale, my scale, which I think there's something wrong with it because it says I've only lost seven pounds and I've been doing this diet for like three months now. Granted, I have not exercised, so that's probably a big thing. But um, I figured one way to kind of help out this whole process would be getting more water intake and I am so bad at drinking water. I like water. Like I like plain water. I don't like anything in my water. I actually like to drink my water like oh god, what do you say? Like room temperature water. Like I don't like cold cold water. Um I know they say that you should do that. Um what I've been doing is adding lemon juice to my water that makes your um body very alkaline which is supposed to be really good for you so that's the only thing that I'll add to my water is lemon juice um I don't love it I prefer regular water but I'm just going to show you this handy dandy contraption because this is really pretty cool um okay so it is the Hydrocoach bottle by Sportline and it is really actually pretty cool. I had Marin set this up for me. But if you can see here, it's going to be hard because of the glare, okay? It tells you right here, what you do is you enter your weight. And I guess you're supposed to do half of, drink half of your body weight in water in ounces. Um, so I have to drink 77 ounces a day according to this. There's so many other features on this, but I'm just going to show you the main one that I use is this this screen that I'm on right here. Um, right here is a little clock. Mine is now turned off, um, but after you set it up, there's a, a start, a stop, and a reset. Um, I just use the start and the stop. I hit this blue button at night. Like, I'm done with my water consumption for tonight. It's now 3, 13 a.m. I've been peeing like nobody's business today. Um, and so, considering I got this in the afternoon, I have drank 70% of my quota of water for the day. So, I think I did pretty good today. Um, but what's really cool is, so tomorrow morning, I will fill the water bottle up and I will hit the start button. And I'll just show you what it does. When you hit it, you can see this. Can you see the little clock going? The little circle at the bottom? It's like a little clock. And so it actually tells you, it'll only register if it's on start. So you kind of have to leave this going all day. Um, if you know you're not going to be drinking water for a while, hit this, hit the start button again or the stop button, the same button, um, so you don't wear out the battery. But it tells you... Um, it only will register while that little time thing is ticking, which that took a little getting used to because I kept starting and stopping it and then I would drink. So I've actually probably drank more than 70%. I would drink from the bottle, but I hadn't hit the start button, so it wasn't registering. Um, but it's really cool. And then it, it just kind of ticks off for you. Um, every time you drink, it'll go up in percentage. Um, it'll tell you there's different modes down here. Let me see if I can hit this mode with my nails. It tells you like how long it's been since you've had a sip. Um, it tells you, see, there's a countdown right there. There's a little counter, um, 54, what does it say? 54 ounces left. I guess that I'm supposed to drink. Um, no, that wouldn't make any sense. I haven't read, I'm going to be honest with you, I have not read the instructions all the way through because the main mode that I am interested in is this mode right here. So all I want to know is how many ounces do I have to drink and what percentage I'm up to. So 70%. So, and then on here it says... 
I can't even read this with these new glasses, you guys. I think I'm going to have to go back to bifocals. I'm so upset. Um, but I'm going to hit stop right now because there's actually no water in here. It gives you an average of how many ounces per hour. Um, my average is 10.3 ounces per hour. So, you know, I mean, I don't really care about how many ounces per hour. I just want to know that I hit my goal um, of the 100%. Um, I think, like I said, considering, you know, I got this in the middle of the day, that 70% for not even a whole day is really, really good. Tomorrow, I'm actually taking the boys, um, Dante's having a sleepover, and I'm we're taking him and his friend to Mystic um, Aquarium, and we're going to the shops and stuff like that. I think I'm going to leave this little candy dandy contraption home because, like I said, my body has to get used to drinking all this water. I normally drink, like, coffee. Um, I'll grab a water bottle every once in a while and finish that off, but for the most part, it's, you know, decaf coffee, and I'm just not getting the water intake that I want or that I should be having. So I'm really hoping this helps me in my weight loss journey. Um, and of course, the next step is get your butt moving, Chris. That's the next step. But I just wanted to show you this. I got this, um, oh, what website did I get this off of? I can't even actually tell you. I know you can get it um, on Amazon. There's so many sites. If you look up Hydro Coach, um by Sportline, water bottle by Sportline, you'll see there's a ton of different shops, but this thing is basically sold out everywhere. Um, so I just picked the shop that I could find it at. Um, and what's really cool is it has this, you know, you can hold this, you know, carry it around with you, whatever, um, if you want. And I kind of thought this was going to be cumbersome. It was going to kind of get in the way, but it really doesn't. And it has this cool little spout it's, it's almost like a little kid sippy cup. So what you have to do, and it has this little ridge here, so you actually kind of have to like bite on this gently as you suck. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Bite while you suck, guys. Um, if you get this, this, um, and what there is, there's like a little propeller in there. And I think that's what is, you know, kind of tells the computer how much you're, you're, consuming they're saying like if you're gonna drink drink with purpose like don't do like little sips because it won't register um so I just thought this was really neat I mean so far have I drank a whole lot more water than I normally would in a day absolutely so I think this is gonna really help me get on my way um when you're done you know when you finish there's even a refill line right here so when you get down to here refill but of course I just drink till there's absolutely nothing left um I'm not gonna watch the refill line but what I was doing because I'm used to regular water bottles what I was doing at first is I was biting and tipping it well you can't tip it because then all you're getting is air so you really have to just sit like this, have it, you know, straight up and just, you know, drink from it. Duh, Chris. Okay. So like when I first started, I was like tipping it and I'm like, okay, it's broken. It doesn't work. Like, what's the deal? Well, I wasn't sucking on it correctly. I didn't know there was a correct way to suck, but there is. Um, but it's really cool. It comes apart like this. There's a lot of parts to it. Um, and it has, if you see this black thing here, that's the little spinny thing. That's what I think registers to the computer. Um, so when you, when you suck the water through, um, this thing spins and it tells you how many ounces that you have had. I don't know exactly how accurate it is. Um, but, and all of these pieces come apart so you can wash them, clean them, whatever. Um, you know, I mean, am I, did I you know, drink exactly 77. No, I needed to drink 77 ounces. So I don't know, whatever, 50 something. I don't know. Ounces, 53 ounces. I think it said that I drank. Did I? I don't know, but I'm going to trust my bottle here. The only thing I don't like is this, this top doesn't screw on all that well. Like you really have to have it kind of set up. You got to have it threaded correctly. That's a little annoying. Um, but you can also, and I think that's because of this part, you can also take, if you don't want this, hold on a second, if you don't want this part right here, this uh, carry part, you don't need to have that, 
um, on there. I just didn't take it off because it wasn't being obtrusive. Like, at first I thought it was going to get in the way and be obtrusive, but it really wasn't. Um, now let's see if I can get the top back on. There you go. So, you know, but this, you know, so it, you, this is just moves to the back. So it's really, really super cool. I really like this so far. So, you know, if I was doing a does this thing really work video, I would say yes. I mean, I really haven't had an issue. Um, when I was reading all the reviews on it, um, one of my subscribers, like I said, linked it to me. Um, I can't shout out to her because I don't know. I can't remember who it was, but whoever it was, thank you very much. I took your advice. I think it's really super duper neat, um, especially for those of us who maybe think we drink a lot of water and then realize we really don't, <laughs> you know? I mean, 77 ounces seems like a lot. I think that's equivalent to like maybe five, you know, normal size water bottles, you know, bottles of water. I like this much better because I am not an advocate, I've told you guys before, of water bottles. Um, not these kind, the, the throwaway kind. I don't like them. Plastic goes in the environment, can't stand it. So anything reusable that I can find, love it much better. Um, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. So this is a definite do for me. I mean, if this was a do's and duds video, it's a definite do. I certainly have drank a lot more water. Um, I don't think I had any coffee today at all, actually. Um, doesn't mean that I would not have coffee. Um, I still had my shakes, so that's a little weird, too, because my shakes are, you know, I use almond milk in the shake mix. So I am kind of getting extra fluids from that. It's not water, obviously. It's almond milk, but... Um, you know, I kind of said to myself, well, that's, that's, that counts, right? Like, does, does water, I mean, almond milk count as water? Like, it's a liquid. Does coffee count as water? It's a liquid. Not really, you know? I mean, it just really doesn't. So, um, like I said, if you want to make it extra healthy for you, put in some lemon juice, some, you know, I bought some, some lemons and you just squeeze them in there and it makes the water alkaline, which is really good for you. Um, but... Other than that, I mean, you could even probably throw a couple slices of cucumber in this, let it sit, you know, overnight, and then drink it. I love cucumber water, actually. It's really good. I So I just thought of that right now. So I'll probably do that um, <laughs> next time. And then just leave it in there and just keep, you know, filling. Just keep filling the water kind of thing, whatever, um, how that goes. But I this would, this would definitely be a do for me. The only thing I... I was I almost didn't buy this because I read a lot of reviews on it and they said the the um, computer tends to reset itself all that kind of stuff but so you're kind of like left at you know like say right now it says okay I'm 70% right and then all of a sudden the computer will go blank and reset itself and then I'm like oh no what do I do you know so I'm just constantly kind of checking it and so I know how many ounces I need if I have to reset it, like, not that big. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I know I could always send it back in a new one. So far, day one, don't have an issue. We'll see as time goes on. Maybe that has to do with the battery, because um, there is a battery in here in the computer. I don't know if it gives you a low battery warning or not. Of course, you know, like I said, I haven't read the whole booklet. It really does a whole lot of things more than just this screen I just like I said I just don't go through all the modes because I might at some point I like I said all I really care about is this right here am I getting how much do I need to drink how you know how far am I to getting to that so my goal is 100% um but like I said I will be leaving this contraption home tomorrow when we go to Mystic um because <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be searching for a bathroom every five minutes. Um, but really do like it. So if you guys are looking for more water intake, and I think this was like 20, uh, don't quote me, but I think it was like 20 something dollars. And you know, if you're going to buy a really, this is PBA free, um, which I was reading an article the other day and 
it was sent to me in my email. I get I get a lot of these, you know, mind green and body emails and stuff like that. And it was sent to me and it was saying no plastic. Like this woman had this whole thing on plastic bottles, even PBA free bottles. That's always what I buy. If it's plastic, it's PBA free. Thinking it's much better for me. She's like, even those, no. Plastic is made from petroleum. Um, you know, chemicals leak in. I mean, like if you drink from a water bottle, you know, like once a day or something, you know, it's a commune, a cumulative, commutative, not commutative, cumulative effect. Um, if you're drinking from plastic water bottles every day, you don't know what's leaching into your water, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I mean, how much stock to put in that, but I think this is really super cool. And like I said, I'm saving the earth by just using one bottle and not all those water bottles that I have to buy when I go to the grocery store. I have to buy two cases of water bottles for like the week for Dante and for Marin's lunches and it kills me. Even if they say they're made from recycled whatever, you know, plastic does not break down. It can take thousands of years for plastic to break down. Oh, and it just drives me crazy. So what she was saying was use glass water bottles. They have special glass ones. This is so, okay, so now I'm on a rant, but this is a really cool tool, guys. So if you guys want to know some links, how to get this, you can Google it yourself, uh, Hydro Coach Water Bottle by Sportline. If you can't find a shop that's open, um, I bought it from some running store, I think, like some run, I don't know, some running store um, online. And, you know, it didn't take all that long to get to me, but she was saying that no plastic, even this kind, is really safe. She suggests stainless steel bottle, you know, reusable stainless steel bottles or reusable glass bottles. And I almost bought a glass bottle um, as sort of an extra reusable. I'm the only one who uses the reusable bottles. Nobody else in this house cares about the environment and they'll just use all the plastic water bottles that they can and they throw them in the garbage too and then I'm picking through the garbage and putting them in the recycling which then I know even still you know ends up in landfills and it drives me nuts but anyway so um the plastic I mean the glass water stainless steel I would never use just because I would think it would give a tinny taste like I always ask Marin he has a thermos that he fills his coffee in every morning and I always say to him like coffee is so acidic like doesn't that like like, that, doesn't that, like, make your coffee taste tinny? Like, I don't know. Like, I would think anything you would put in there would taste, like, tin. Yeah, and I just don't like that. Um, soda cans. Like, I don't drink soda. I haven't drank soda in years and years and years. But if I could get a soda out of a glass bottle any day, I would do it. Um, as opposed to a metal stainless steel, whatever. But he's like, no, it really doesn't. He goes, I, not that I notice, you know, and he loves it. because so I was going to buy him a new thermos and I was looking at, you know, the plastic ones and stuff like that, whatever. And he's like, these really keep the stuff either super cold or super hot the best. So, you know, I'm not going to argue with him. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. So, okay. Um, that's what works for him, but I wouldn't do stain. I personally would not want to drink my water out of stainless steel. I just wouldn't. I just, I don't know. Yeah. I just think it would be gross. Um, and the glass ones is, is a really good idea. But then, of course, people say, well, what if you drop it? They have, there's a brand, and I will try to find it for you guys and link it below. If I don't, ask me about it, and I will find it for you. There's a brand that has a glass bottle, and on top of it, I believe on top of it, or actually made into the glass, is rubber. So... If you do drop it, are you saving your water bottle? No, you're probably going to still have to buy a new one, but the glass won't shatter everywhere. It kind of contains it. Um, so that's kind of cool too. But this contraption, handy dandy doodaddy thingy, is really super cool. So if anybody, like I said, can't find it, wants to know where I got mine, um, I will have to look it up for you, of course. But post below um, if anybody else has one of these, uses one of these, let me know. And let me know how you like it. Let me know if you've been using it for a couple months. Have you had issues with the computer resetting itself? Have you had no issues whatsoever? That was the biggest complaint when I when I looked up. Because I review everything. I read all the reviews before I purchase anything. And um, that was, the, it almost stopped me. But then I said, you know what? It's 20 bucks. Like, I've spent 
20 bucks on other crap before too so it's not going to kill me you know um but do you have that experience with it you know if you've had this this handy dandy contraption for smart intelligent water bottle for you know a specific amount of time more than a day like I do do you find the computer resetting itself what's the deal kind of thing um you know, let me know your experiences on it. But um, any other questions like about the glass water bottles, I can find those links for you if, you, if you're curious about those. Um, anyway, so this is it. And like I said, 70% for not even a whole day. Go Chris. I think it's really good. I think I've made a really good achievement. Like I said, I wish we had two bathrooms because we only have one. So when I got to go especially today I really gotta go and you know it never fails Dante's in there and I'm like ah, I'm gonna pee my pants so yeah so this thing's staying home tomorrow unfortunately I would love to bring it with me but I just can't go to Mystic Aquarium and be in the middle of a show and just be up and down and up and down and up and down but Anyway, guys, that's my video for today. If you guys want to be a member of my YouTube family, please subscribe below. Um, please don't forget, guys, about the March vendor-sponsored giveaway. I'm going to post a link up above because I haven't been posting the link, and I'm going to post it in the About section also. So please open that for the information. That also has my links. You can find me on Tumblr, on Blogger, on, on um Instagram and Twitter and all that other other kind of goody stuff. Um, so follow me, follow me, follow me. I would love to have you guys part of my family, my YouTube family. And I, yes, I do consider you guys family. Um, hit the clicky clicky, hit the subscribe button, hit the little gear button and say you want email notifications so you can get videos like this and a whole lot of other things. I do, I do basically everything on this channel. So I will be talking to you guys soon. Talk to you later.